Florida is filled to the brim with snakes, specifically Burmese pythons. As we reported yesterday, the predators have been wiping out other wildlife and threatening the ecosystem as they spread to the suburbs. Every year, people put their lives on hold to go out and hunt them as part of the annual python challenge, but it's only making a dent in the problem. Our next guest turned her hobby into a career as she scours the Everglades to bring this slithery species under control. Amy Seawee is known as the Python Huntress, and she joins us now along with her Python skin curtains. <laughs> Amy, great to see you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. So it seems to me that in order to hunt these snakes, you got to understand them, you've got to respect them, maybe even love them just a little bit. You, you were a real estate broker in Indiana. How did you go from that to becoming the Python Huntress in Florida? You know, it's always been a hobby of mine ever since my dad put me in a creek when I was little and taught me how to catch fish and crawdads. And I just had this obsessive fascination with snakes. And, you know, it's always been a hobby. But then I learned about the, the problem in Florida. So I came down to see what it was all about, caught a python, and I said, this is it. So now I can finally, I can use this passion to actually make a difference and help Florida with this colossal problem and instead of it just being a hobby. You know what they say about pythons, you never forget your first time when you go to catch them. Um, the situation <laughs> with Burmese pythons in Florida, you got some pretty graphic pictures here on your website, which is, by the way, pythonhuntress.com, where you've slit some, some of the snakes open that you captured. Yes. We can put that up on the screen, and you can see the number of eggs that each one of these snakes hold. So for every snake, how many eggs do you get, and how many baby pythons does that make? On average, it's 20 to 40 per female per year that they lay. Um, but some of the big girls, like the, the 15, 16, 17 footers, easily over 100 eggs. Wow. And, and what that's doing to the ecosystem is just you've, you've got an apex predator with no natural competition, and it's just out there eating everything and reproducing. You have got some pictures, again, on your website of you holding a massive snake. Uh, there's a, an even better picture where you're holding it with three or four of your friends. The thing looks like it's at least 15 <laughs> feet long. What's the biggest snake you've ever caught? So far, my biggest is 17-3. Oh, my gosh. And that is the one. The one right now on screen is 14-2, is I think. But 17-3 and 110 pounds. How difficult is it to capture something like that? You know... <laughs> When you're the, the majority of what we catch is between six and nine feet. Oh, and so those are generally little piddly very, snakes. <laughs> yeah. They're very, they're pretty easy to, to handle. When you get with the bigger ones, you know, for the 17 footer, I had a head bag that I used. So back in the day when I was with the vet and the pet industry, we would put a dark cloth over, you know, the eyes to calm the animal down. So that's what I did. I put a, a drawstring bag over the 17 footer's head <laughs> and she calmed down so I could get her out. You know, it seems to me that if you got a 17 foot Python in front of you, the last thing you want to do is go for the head. But I guess when you hunt <laughs> pythons, that's the first thing you go for. We should mention too, that in all of your work, you do a lot of charity work as well. You sell Python goods uh, on your website. Again, it's pythonhuntress.com. Uh, we, uh, we appreciate you being with us. You know, it's it's International Women's Month, so we're highlighting somebody here who has a very unusual job. Amy, more power to you, and uh, I hope to Thank catch you up so with you much. again some other time. Appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.